So once again, Disney's just making some changes, doing whatever they want. Well, this more so isn't Disney. It's Marvel Comics that decided to make this change, which should really not be a surprise because if anybody's been following Marvel Comics like I have for the past couple of years, you know just exactly the kind of stuff they like to push in their books. Some of the books are good still. I'm not denying that. Plenty of good books. Immortal Hulk, Venom, the X-Men books right now under Hickman. Great stuff. But for every good book Marvel has, there's 30 books, <laughs> literally, that are terrible, terrible stuff. They, they seem to do a balance out. We got one good book right here. What are we going to do? Oh, well, let's get 10 more that are just complete trash. And they do a lot of agenda pushing in there. You don't need to look any further than everyone's favorite Captain Marvel for that. But, of course, they also get to push their crap in the Star Wars books, which are absolutely terrible books. Some of the Vader books are actually pretty good. The Charles Soule Vader, Vader run was really good. I guess both of the Vader runs were, were, were really good. Um, they've actually been able to write that character decent, probably because he's a villain and... Most of the NPC crowd are villains themselves, so it's an easy changeover for them. However, you know, we're not content with just making the comics bad. We need to actually go and change the lore as well, because we can do that. Disney gave us the authority. In fact, they have to get approval to do things like this, and somebody at Disney approved it. So what did they do? What did they change? Well, Star Wars reveals, spoiler, built the Empire, not Palpatine. Who is spoiler? Well, it's this lady right here. I am shocked. Shocked. But I mean, when Kathleen Kennedy was hired on, and one of the first things she did was trot out in this t-shirt, I think it was pretty clear where they were going to go, <laughs> where they were going to go with Star Wars and the stuff that they wanted to push with it. A, a lot of people were talking about this. Force Awakens ended up being okay, but the signs were subtly there. And then, of course... You know, time went forward, and now, you know, here we are. Palpatine no longer built the empires of some old woman. So, who is this? Well, let's go through it. This actually occurred in Dr. Alpha number 36. That's an original character. She was a part of, of Darth Vader run. She's pretty much kind of his sidekick, and now she has her own book. Now, that's the only reason I know who the character is. I didn't read her book. I have no desire to read Dr. Aphra. Now... The Darth Vader run that she was in, that I recommend. That was good. So anyway, let's go through this. Whether or not Emperor Palpatine ever returns, he is returning. <laughs> He's literally on the poster. How do you write that line September 30th? Whatever. There's no denying that the Empire's greatest weakness was having him as a leader. Now that's debatable. I would say the Empire was pretty efficient and orderly. And... <laughs> I mean, who's going to who's gonna question the Emperor knowing that he can pretty much choke people out? You have, like, Darth Vader running around choking people all the time. Um, fear kept them in line. You can't say that doesn't work. All you got to do is look at uh, North Korea, and you can see that it's quite an effective way to keep control of the population. But they're going to allude later in the article that that wasn't good enough, that it was her that was keeping the pillars up because she was doing all this stuff on the side, which... They even say in the article was given her those were given to her those orders by Emperor Palpatine, but it was her ideas. And there's also a plot hole in here. I, I need to go read the issue, I guess. I don't want to, but maybe I will, but I'm gonna go by what they wrote in here. It says basically cruel, vindictive, hateful, and detested across the galaxy. Now we actually don't know that, to be honest. Since they wiped out all of the canon. It's never talked about if he was really hated, like they're saying. I know they tore down his statue at the end of Return of the Jedi in the retcon, but we don't really truly know what people felt for him. Because from what I remember, uh, most of the propaganda of him was showing him as his old self. They never really showed him too much like this. And... Uh, he was always, like, giving good messages. That's what I was told. They tried to be that wholesome, wholesome father guy. But I don't know. I could be wrong there. It's a miracle Emperor Palpatine took as long as he did to lose all power. He didn't really ever lose all power. He got betrayed by Darth Vader. He didn't lose anything. He didn't lose anything. But now, 
Star Wars has revealed the woman who was actually keeping the Empire together all those years, despite its incompetent leader. Every fan is going to want to know the woman born Patina Marmas Vor, 20 years before Palpatine began to rise to power. How is that possible that she was putting it together before he rose to power? That doesn't make any sense. There was no empire. What, was she working for the Trade Federation? <laughs> that, to me, sounds like a plot hole. Married to a lame duck bureaucrat in the Empire's ruling class of competing officers and governors, she saw history repeating itself. That below all the bravado, intimidation, and posturing, the expansion of the Empire through brute force was killing it even as it spread, running out of soldiers and money. Now, I don't know about money. I mean, he can literally make his own money. He controls anything, and I, they don't need to really ask. They could just go take it. Maybe that's you know reasoning that he was hated. I don't know. Um, either way, any kind of empire is going to inspire some rebellion, and they, they bring that to the point that, oh, it's because of him that a rebellion came. No, it's, I mean, any empire is going to have it. I think throughout history, there's always been rebellions. So, so it goes on to say, and Patina just might have led the Galactic Empire to total success, if not for one crucial weakness. Emperor Palpatine had absolutely no idea how to lead. Uh, he, like, led the Senate and stuff. <laughs> I think he did a good job considering he got them to hand over control of their freedom to him after the third movie. But, hey, you know, who knows? What, what do I know? So, basically... It goes on to talk about how she made a bunch of backroom dealings and convinced her husband to get rid of himself. And basically, this rose her to power, and she became a big influencer. I mean, every king or emperor has influencers that work for them. I mean, there's no mistake, and there's no denying that, you know, every great person has people working for them that helped them bring greatness. But to say that, you know, it was this person that built the empire, not the emperor, is ridiculous. But of course they're going to do this. Of course they're going to prop this person up and say that this is the real person <laughs> that made the emperor uh, worth a damn. Of course. Because it can never be just a guy that did something in the Star Wars universe. Not anymore. I can't wait till they come out and say Yoda's really a woman. <laughs> they're gonna retcon it and say, well, he could really just be whatever he wanted to be. That's the species. Or or maybe Luke was. I, I don't know. I mean, they already pretty much have said that it turns out the Skywalker saga is really the Palpatine saga, is what they've been saying. So I'm waiting for him to change it to something else. Like Luke was, you know, really into Han or something. I'm sure those changes are coming because it's Disney. You know, we'll get more retcons down the line, such as this one. So so just so you guys know, it wasn't Emperor Palpatine who made changes. It was really this old lady right here. She's the one that made the Emperor stay in power. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think about these stupid retcons that Disney's always doing. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.